Hey everybody, it's Lou. Last month was the seventh anniversary of my first TED Talk, which I gave in Brazil, in Rio. It was right before the Olympics. It was really a wild time down there. And I'd never given a TED Talk before. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't particularly nervous until I looked up at the uh, big lime-colored clock that they have that starts counting down from 18 minutes. Uh, that was, it was like a shot clock in the NBA. You can't mess with the clock in a TED Talk. You can't mess with the time. And uh, the other thing that freaked me out was the little circle you have to stand inside of. That's kind of like a, a balance game where you can't go outside of it. Um, so, you know, for someone who likes to use their arms and legs and, you know, I'm Italian, right? It was a little tricky. But, you know, I didn't mind it for some reason. I kind of got into it. They have rehearsals and my rehearsal was so bad and I could tell from the reaction of the people they had in there that I, I went to my hotel room and changed the whole thing. I did. The next night I did a TED talk in front of a full house and it was like new material. <laughs> and with this TED talk, they sold seats to an upstairs area with a big screen too. I mean, it, it was massive. So I'm playing to like a live house and a bigger live audience upstairs. Uh, and it went pretty well. I, I, the TED Talk people are so accepting, so warm, and uh, you know you never feel like they're judging you and stuff. And I really like that. Afterwards, I went upstairs to to watch the screen. The others and two girls came up to me and introduced themselves, and you know said uh, we're very supportive. So it was a very good experience for me, and I never uh, dreamed I'd give a TED Talk. So I'm going to let you take a look at a couple of seconds of it. And remind you, as always, that there really is no place like home. Take care, everybody. So that's what these cities are doing. They're taking these six principles of the intelligent community movement, and they're going forward. And we've got 145 of them now that are performing at very, very high levels. The others learn from them. We bring them together, six, seven at a time, and they start sorting through the more complex problems that the national governments can't sort through.